we're off to Ungulim to go and collect Lisa's uh, cat de séjour. Probably means that uh, it's going to be an hour's wait before we find out whether Lisa gets a cat de séjour. Yeah, I hate this place. Just... Right, right. We've just left the prefecture's office. Or any of that. Roll intro. <laughs> Pool. Ça va? I was asked a question <laughs> whether I was gonna when I was gonna do a uh, one of these videos in French. The reply was never. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a 30 second long video. Anyway, good morning from the southwest of France, the northernmost tip. Anyway, today we're off to Ungulim to go and collect Lisa's. Uh, this is visa. Yeah. Sorry, I'm being distracted by the dog. Uh, it's not visa. It's a carte de séjour. Titre de séjour. Um, at the cost of 405 euros. And that's us pretty much... Uh, pretty much French now, aren't we? Anyway, got, got a few thank... Uh, got, it's early. Got a few shout-outs to give. Firstly, thank you to my mum for donating to the Movember calls. Uh, of course, she doesn't know how to use the app, so she had to transfer the money. <laughs> Another one, Bernadette McKenzie, thank you so much, and Diane Smith. Yes, yeah, so we've got um, got a few people coming on Saturday for the walk, but it'd be great if you could make it too. Yes, you. 11am um, on Saturday um, at uh, Le Soleil Couchon, which is in the Lacs de Horsecharente. Um, yeah, just go for a quick walk and then uh, hop to the pub afterwards. Sounds like a great day. Right, so in order to collect the carte de séjour, uh, you need to be there at the prefecture's office between 8 and 10. Now, we can't get there for 8 because it's a school day. And so, um, and we're not going to do it on a Wednesday because there's no chance that we'll be able to get the kids out of bed. Um, so we need to drop the kids off at 10 to 9 and then dash to Angulo. That's the dog. Um, and hopefully get there in time. Anyway, so let's do that. I don't really know what, uh, what sunglasses you wear with a white, the white t-shirt. So, fellas. slow -mo. So let's go from here to here. Right, we've got 15 minutes to spare. Right, we need to get in. Right, let's get in. <laughs> Phew. So uh, I think we're number 39. Um, which probably means uh, there's quite a few people in there. Probably means that uh, it's going to be an hour's wait before we find out whether Lisa gets a cart to séjour, which I'm pretty sure she has. But uh, yeah, I hate this place. I just, I just don't like waiting. I've got too much stuff going on in my, in, in my head to sit there for an hour just uh, thinking. Yeah, anyway, I'm waffling. Right, let's wait. Right. Right, we've just left the prefecture's office. What have you got? Let's let's hide some details. <laughs> but Lisa's got a card to show. show. Amazing! Look at that. Right, we now need to go to the Asian shop so I can get some stuff so I can start cooking my curry, new curry recipe for tomorrow. Right. And then it's off to La Roche Foucault shopping. Right, whatever next is, let's do that. Right, we're here. Let's have a look. Chutney too, get that. And that. Have you got a list? It's on your phone. <laughs> right, I've had to switch to my, to my phone to film this because I left the camera in the car. But it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Right, I think I've just found the thumbnail. 
<laughs> really? Go on, go. This is for the ladies. <laughs> oh, amazing. There we go. And the tinsel aisle. <laughs> I don't even know, what's the date today? The, like, the 7th of November? Uh, I thought England was early. Hmm. Nah, I'm not cheating. Right, so back from shopping. I've uh, just cleaned down the mower from, uh, from yesterday. And uh, the blades, not working, not working right. So uh, one thing I do need to do is uh, sharpen the blade. So I'll do that. where I saw, I ran out of bottle and I put it all back together again. I think I might need a new uh, belt for the, uh, for the blades. Anyway, time to pick up the kids from school. I'll see you tomorrow. No, sorry, quite. it's not quite a, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Because I've just had a message from Peter Bartholomew from Derbyshire, who's got stables and horses. And uh, the guys and girls in the stables have all uh, raised 120 pounds for uh, for November, and they're also doing a muck run as well. But they've got barrels, uh, barrows of muck, and running around the yard. And the winner gets a free round. Um, I've asked him to film it, and if uh, if he sends it over in time, I'll, I'll stick on tomorrow's video. That's amazing, Peter. Thank you so much, and thank you to all the. Uh, well, to the guys and girls at the stables, amazing. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So, kids are all ready at school. We've, um... We then popped to uh, to Conflon. I, I didn't film it. I should have done. But we uh, went into a new shop. Ho hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> Owned by a lovely lady called Carrie. And uh, she sells like just stuff. <laughs> like decorations, all handmade and stuff like that. Um, so... If you're local to uh, to the Charente, um, yeah, then, yeah, then go and pay it. Go and pay her a visit. Uh, I'll give a big shout out to Bern Bernadette McKenzie for a donation to Movember. Tomorrow we've got the the walk on. There's a few people coming to that. I need I need to make a curry, so I'll do that now. Right, so this curry is called a vindras. So it's a hybrid between a madras and a vindaloo, and I've got the recipe from Al's kitchen. 
uh, which is a really popular um, YouTube channel with 133,000 subscribers making um, Indi what's it called? Um, Indian restaurant style curries. So not authentic Indian food, uh, but the restaurant style. So I'm, I've never done this one before. I normally do the ones with the um, with the with the boiled uh, onions uh, and uh, mashed up as a, as a base gravy. But this one's slightly different. Uh, and I've also got the one camera to do this as well. So unlike Richard from um, New Life in France, who's got a couple of cameras and it looks a lot more professional production. I'm just going to do it with the one camera and try and make it look look half decent. So. Ingredients. Yeah, so you need one kilo of tomatoes, sliced in half. Right, so let's do that. Hmm. So, oh, missed that one. And there's a reason why you face them down, which, according to Al's kitchen, well, will become apparent. So what went off camera then was one of the half of tomatoes falling down onto the floor. What's the two second rule? You'll notice that I'm using a plate and not the table. I don't want to put out another trigger warning. Right, what's next? So next is a kilo of chicken. Now, this is breast, you shouldn't really be using thigh, but the only thigh you can get in France that I found comes still with this bone in it and uh, still with the skin on. And so you probably have to buy two kilo in order to go it down to a, a kilo. So yeah, we're just gonna go with a, just gonna go with breast. Breast is best. Right, almost finished uh, chopping it up. I would have filmed it, but I've got two kittens. I'm very interested in this, in this chicken. <laughs> There's nothing there, Dutch. There's nothing there. Nope. I've got a prison for the chicken. There you go. <laughs> Next we have frozen red chilli hole. So, I'm gonna put loads in there. So the recipe says eight. I'm going for nine. And I'll let them defrost. A teaspoon of ground black pepper. Just pop that more on. quite a teaspoon. I've just kept myself, of, I've read the instructions again. It said garlic and chilli paste. Not from jars. But that's all I've got. Two teaspoons of that in powder form. Don't need to powder that up. Et voila. Two teaspoons of... Uh, Cumin. This already smells amazing. This is actually my my coffee bean grinder. <laughs> it's great. Right, it does say to use two tablespoons of a Kashmiri red chili powder. Now I haven't got that. But I've got Kashmiri red chilies, which uh, I'll blend them up to. No idea what two tablespoons is going to look like, so I'll just stick, I'll just stick a load of that. So while that's still going, it's half a teaspoon of garam masala. So I'll stick there. I've already tipped some out of the, the jar, but I reckon that's about. Yeah, that's definitely. That's definitely two tablespoons. That's going to be hot anyway. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm pretty sure I haven't already put this on. I'm really... oh, I don't know. I'm getting lost. I can't find the turmeric. Well, I found it. It was in the jar entitled uh, turmeric. Right. Half a teaspoon on that. One tablespoon of masala. One teaspoon of fenugreek or methi. 150 ml of, uh, it says to use uh, olive oil. Of course, about 80, 80 quid a bottle. So 
So I'm using a wheel to turn, turn this off. There it goes. Right, let's get the chicken in. And let's give that a uh, stir around. And then the next part of the recipe, which uh, threw me a little bit, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it kind of turns out, whether we've got enough pan space. Yeah, so what you do now is you uh, put the tomatoes in face down. And there is a reason why you put them in face down, which will become apparent later. Right, last one. And then, and then cover it and leave it for 10. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. About halfway. Right. Right, so the reason why they are face down is because so you can take the skins off them. Well, I'm not going to film that because it's going to be a bit fiddly. Yeah, it looked a lot easier on it on this video. So uh, what I'm going to do is you meant to mash them, mash them down anyway. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to leave the skins on, hoping that the skins will come off. Right, I've decided to boil the hell out of it and get the skins off that way. That's easier. Right, now you can mash it. That's better. <laughs> Three teaspoons of uh, ginger, not from jars. <laughs> Let's give that a stir in. And then all the spices in. Oh. Give that a stir in. Tiny touch tomato puree. Give that another stir around. That smells amazing. It's looking good too. Now, cook down for 30 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Let's give that a stir. Right, optional, but a little nod of butter ghee. The chilies. This is a, uh, so they're not melting away, they're putting afterwards, so they can retain, retain the heat. Salt to taste. A teaspoon of white wine vinegar. That stir. Dash of lemon. That stir. Some chopped coriander. Yes, I am using the work surface. Don't tell Lisa. She'll never find out. Give that a stir. I will be adding potatoes to it, but I've just plated myself some up. So I've done no taste, taste test at all on this. And I'll give you my uh, my honest honest opinion. It tastes nice. Oh, that's got a kick. That's definitely got a kick to it. Right. A success. I thought it was amazing. If I do say so myself, I'm following somebody else's recipe, so I'm not clever. Anyway, uh, I've got a few shout outs to give to Bernadette McKenzie. Thank you so much uh, for your donation. Uh, Andrew and Julie Baxter. For, for their donation, thank you. And uh, Denise Taylor, thank you all so much. And uh, we've just had a letter from the tax funds here, people.
I started to read it, but I ran out of French pretty quick. But uh, basically, what it was saying is that we're entitled to a rebate because of the heavy rainfall that we've had this year. And uh, because of the heavy rainfall, um, we've probably lost crop growing ability. <laughs> Got nine euros back. Right. So, really looking forward to the to the fundraising walk tomorrow um, with the people who support and follow the, the channel. Um, I don't know the exact amount of numbers. I don't know whether people are just going to just gonna turn up and announce, I don't know. But uh, it's, it's 11 o'clock at Le Soleil Couchant, Lac de Rochante, um, it's Plan d'eau. Um, yeah, I'll put it on yesterday's video anyway. Yeah, so go and take a look at that. And I'll see if I can put a link, if I remember this time, to the Movember uh, page, if you would be uh, kind enough to, to donate. So, for the rest of you, who are not coming tomorrow have a great weekend and laters and uh for those that are coming on the walk i'll see you tomorrow